We are about to interview and get the secret to her red velvet waffle recipe. We are here at Cooking with a Twist with Chef Dee Dee. Stay tuned. This is Dawn Paul with the Break of Dawn TV, or maybe Chef Dawn. I don't know, the chef is rubbing off on me. I am here with the fabulous Chef Dee Dee, the queen, the national queen, known around the nation as the queen of the red velvet waffles. And I am so honored to be here because, uh, you know, I'm holding this Chef Dee Can I hold it? You can hold it. How are you? I'm good, how are you? Good, thank you for having us. Thank you for having me. I love this. Ooh, I'm so excited. But tell us a little bit about how you got started before we, we start getting into okay. the cooking. Okay. Um, actually, uh, I got started with the red velvet waffles. Just um, I wanted to do a Sunday brunch here mm -hmm. in Houston, but I wanted to I wanted to be to set apart. I wanted to stand uh, apart from all the chicken and waffle places that yeah. are around, and um, I wanted to do, of course, more than chicken and waffles, mm -hmm. but I wanted a signature dish. Okay. So. Um, all of my red velvet everything was just very popular because I do catering and so we did red velvet cakes and uh, red velvet cheesecakes and you do that too? Oh yeah, mm -hmm. I do all of that. So yeah, I called it Chef Dee's Red Velvet Creations. Mm -hmm. So I said let's just do a red velvet waffle. So I got in the kitchen and I just started to work with it and of course I've, I've thrown away a mini a batter okay. just to get to where it is right now. and. Um, then I just introduced it to to my clients and and the rest is history. The rest is history. Houston nationwide. And in her batter, the delicious, delicious yeah. Southern cuisine red velvet waffle batter, which will be in stores. Yes, there is some. They'll be coming to H E B soon. Well look, like, I'm about to dip my face in this tub. <laughs> I'm telling you, y'all I love sweets and everybody I am a sweet I'm obsessed with sweets. Mm -hmm. Well, I, you'll be yeah. surprised when you taste the waffles because okay. they're not extremely sweet. Okay. They're, um, they have just enough sweetness, but it actually tastes like a waffle. Mm -hmm. um, and we can do uh, a few things with the waffle batter, mm -hmm. and that's what I'm going to show you today. All right. Well, yes. I, I love it. We are at Cooking with a Twist. Yes, we're at Cooking with Cooking a Twist. Cooking with a Twist. <laughs> and tell us about <laughs> this. In okay. okay. Cooking with a Twist is um, uh, just adult and kids cooking classes where you can come out and they're informal cooking classes. I mean, of course, you still come out and learn how to cook. Mm -hmm. and um, But you come out and it's a lot of fun. Okay. You bring your girls or your significant other or um, just whatever. You bring know, your man. You do private yeah. parties or whatever. And okay. you come out and uh, it's me and I have two other chefs. Okay. And um, we have menus that are online, which is cooking with a twist, Houston.com, and you choose what class you want. Come in and you bring bring BYOB, bring your own wine or oh. whatever you want to bring to enjoy Dee. the class, and you just have a good okay. old good old time. That's you, what it is. Chef Dee, Dee gets down. Yeah. Chef Dee, Dee knows how to. That's why it's twist because I'm gonna be twist. I see that wine yeah. glass on the twist. Right. So you're smart. Yes. And you know what? And if you ever need a taste test of in the future, you I'm know to call break of dawn. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you. And what are we gonna make today? Okay. So let's first to start off with just the regular red velvet okay. waffle. Ms. Chef Didi, if I'm not a cook, okay, is this can I do this? That's Come why on. it's ready made. Okay. There's no mixing okay. involved. There's no adding water. There's no adding milk. There's okay. no adding oil or eggs. Anything. When you go to the store, or even when you come here to cooking with the twist and buy the batter, it's ready made. It's yeah. ready to either. Go in your waffle machine or go on your griddle okay. to make your pancakes. What okay. we do is we're just going to cover mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. waffle machine. Love it. And I love this deep red. How long did it take to get the perfect? Because you have to get the perfect red. If yeah. you're going to do red velvet, you can't have it reddish, pinkish. This is like the perfect red color. Yeah. I love this. Thank you. Well. That's a, yeah. Go ahead. Let me close. Oh, can I do that? Because you know I don't do a lot of cooking, but I feel good when I can. And then turn it like. Ooh. Okay. Oh wait a minute. Okay. Oh okay. Yeah. Now why do we turn it around like that? Well, oh, this is a tilt, and it depends on your okay. waffle machine. Okay. This one tilts. Okay. It's a Belgian waffle maker, so okay. it tilts. It rotates. It has the rotate feature. So once we see the ready light on, normally it takes about. Probably about four minutes. I have it set to four minutes, and okay. it really depends on your waffle machine. And it smells good. So thank you. So we're gonna do that, um, uh, and it does, again, doesn't take long. I like to 
have my keep it clean. Keep it yeah. Clean. This waffle machine has been with me for a while. Okay. I've band-aided it up. Oh, faithful. Yeah, it is old faithful. <laughs> I love it. Really it is. And they don't cost a lot. You can go, yeah. to, go to any waffle any, machine, really. Yeah, you can go okay. to JCPenney's, Macy's, Walmart, whatever. Okay. Get a waffle machine. It doesn't take long. Now, you're national. So, you know, this is a national, you're a national brand. Mm -hmm. So, when you are putting out something on a national level, the pressure's on. We know you can, I mean, this is a quality product already, but when did you decide to take that risk? Because we always like to tell people, you got to take a risk if you want to be successful. Yeah, so when did you say, I got to take a risk? People are loving it. I'm going to take this to a higher level. So everybody So we actually entered, this is an award-winning mm -hmm. waffle batter. Yeah. We actually entered into uh, an HEB con an HEB contest um, Oh, those picks. look so good. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And they all they're always looking for the next best thing. Mm -hmm. Okay? So I like you can either take the whole waffle out, but I like to kind of just take them out in quarters. Right. So that's just the regular red velvet waffle. Mm -hmm. Okay? Ooh, they that's look so what pretty. I normally use, okay. you know, serve with like fried chicken. Oh my god. Where's yeah. the chicken? We doing the chicken today? Oh Lord, look at I didn't want to do you like that. Okay, I'm okay. Fried chicken I'm trying really to keep good. it together. Oh my god. So let me tell you how how diverse we can do. Let me okay. tell you. So a lot of people like let's let's start with the banana nut red okay. velvet waffle. So what we're gonna do is what do you need me to do? Here, here, I'll, I'll tell you. Just okay. Something. So we're just going. Are you to, one of those cooks that like get out of my kitchen? No, <laughs> are you one of those? Okay. I'm not. You know what? I had to learn not to be like that. Okay. Because. If you ask my husband and my kids that question, uh -huh. they would say yes. Okay. But when you're trying to share your mm -hmm. craft and your gift with other people and show them how to cook, you have to kind of get out of yeah. your, you have to deny yourself. Okay. Kind of, kind but it's of hard because this is your it, passion it and gift. So, yeah. But you know what, but that's fine. I, I want people to know, to know what to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to puree this banana. Oh, okay. okay. So I'm going to put it in this food processor. Okay. Not expensive. Easy. Yeah, this is easy. very easy. Oh wow! So and kids, control. and let's talk about the class, but because I am not a, I just do a little cooking. Okay, right. but mm -hmm. what I like about what you do is you don't work with you work with people who are busy who want to cook, right? And they can do it and enjoy exactly. it. But also talk about your kids' camp because this is great for kids too, right? Yes, okay. it is. So the kids' camp is one week. I'm gonna I'm pouring the banana puree mm -hmm. in the. Red velvet waffle batter. Okay. <clears throat> the kids camp is one week. We've done we do it every summer. Okay. Of course, this was our first summer. Yeah. We did one last uh, last month. She said. This. So yeah. Oh, this is so, so good. So we're gonna pour that in the waffle machine. Oh, this looks so good, guys. Let's see. Ooh, I hear it sizzling. Yes. I try not to put a lot because I don't want it to okay. like overflow. Okay. But you know. It's when you're making waffles, that's inevitable. It's going to okay. do that. So. And what I notice about this batter, and what I love is that it's not burning. None of the waffles that came out were burning. Oh, no, You, no. you know you what I mean? It in yeah. There just as, as long as you need to. Yeah. Um, because you can't, if you leave it in there too long, mm -hmm. it will. Okay. So. Now, when is this going to be at HEB? I'd say by this year. Okay. By good. the end of this year, we should be there. And we're going to see you in commercials with JJ Watt. <laughs> Right? <laughs> I love it. I can see I can see JJ watch JJ talk to JJ if okay. he's watching. JJ, you need to to be holding some of this delicious southern food. Okay, JJ, yes. you're, you're definitely yes. gonna be holding yes. that red velvet waffle batter and enjoying those waffles. So. See, you know what, Chef Didi, would I be nasty if I dipped this in and took a you, little I'm yeah. gonna taste the batter. I like raw. Because when I was a kid I used yeah. to like the raw batter. Here, Is that nasty? I'll take it out of here. Yeah, you go. And it's the same batter. I just there you go. Because when I was a kid I used to like cake batter. I've had people just ask Oh, this is good. <laughs> mm. Oh my God. Ooh. Okay. Oh my God. So you know oh, it's good playing by itself. I feel so sorry for the people video videoing this and taking pictures. <laughs> so that's your banana nut. Oh my gosh. I just wanted to make that. And let me tell you, these waffles are perfect. Mm -hmm. Thank you. By itself, I don't need syrup, I don't need butter, and I'm a butter person. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Yes. You can just sit and eat this. My bar. dad oh my um, mm -hmm. actually and miss definitely missed my dad. He passed away about a month ago. Mm. But he loved the red velvet waffles. Yeah. And he would eat them with syrup. 
Like, and a lot of people do eat them with syrup. I'm, you know, you don't have to, mm. but a lot of people do. But it's so. like not too sweet, but it's perfectly sweet. Right. It's just perfect. So we can actually use the red velvet waffles that we already have here to okay. make this more. Mm. So what we do is, we just kind of, so we make the, make this look cute. So we're just going to sprinkle some chocolate right there. Mm. And then Jeff kind of put that there. <laughs> now, are you? Do you love sweets? Because I assume when you cook I it a am, lot, I'm a, but I don't uh -huh. eat a lot of sweets. I love sweets, so uh -huh. I have to have. I have cravings. Yeah. Okay, I have cravings. Mm. What do you get the biggest request for? Red velvet waffles or your fried or what? Um, I'll, I'll yeah, quite a lot of it. I mean, yeah. red velvet definitely. People buy the red velvet waffles like crazy. Yeah. So it's not you know it's not anything. I'm gonna put some. Uh, Ooh, and you can make it any way you want. These are graham crackers. Okay. So it's I just like that. a s'more. S'more is okay. chocolate, marshmallow, graham cracker. Mm. So we're just Very gonna pretty. Definitely. I'm gonna put that. It's not stacked. Chef Dee Dee. Mm. You see why I love this lady? <laughs> Look at how pretty this is. And, then we're gonna put and it's easy to make, guys. How long did this take us, Chef Dee Dee? Yes. Not very long. Very easy. Very easy. So if you're, you know, rushing in the morning, trying mm. to get breakfast. Oh, you did. You were going to do it. Let's do four layers. Can we do three layers? Yeah, we're, we're going to do three layers. Yeah, we're going to do it. Let's do it big. That's what I say. Yeah. We're in Texas. so. Brilliant. That's right. Mm. Put that on there. Put some more little chocolate. And this is very easy to make. That's it. And fun. Very so fun. now you have your regular waffles, you have the chocolate chip, you mm -hmm. have the banana nut, and you have the red velvet uh, waffle s'more. All right. So those are just a few that I wanted to share with your your audience look, look, today. Let me tell y'all. Let me let's let's hold this and I'll hold mine. Jar. Okay. Uh, mm. Now give us the location. Okay, we're located in Stafford, Texas, okay. which is like Five just a few Houston. minutes yeah. from Houston. Uh, it's one three zero zero three. Murphy Road and we're in Suite B7 and it's Stafford, Texas 77477. Um, my email is Chef at Southern Cook and and um, email no um, the web yeah. is www.cookingwiththetwisthouston.com. I want you to give me you know, tell the people who are out there somebody sitting on a a passion, Chef mm -hmm. Didi. They're afraid to take a risk. Yes. You see what you're doing. You know. It's talk definitely. To um, yeah. It's it's a challenge. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of people are. They fear the challenge. Right. Um, in 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 my mind, it's like I can't do it. Mm -hmm. But I worked for corporate America for ten years. Mm -hmm. A lot of people did before they did, started following their passion. But I passions. actually did it while I was in corporate America. Yeah. And it just became overwhelming. Yeah. Uh, I couldn't do both. So I had to You got to make a choice. I had to right. choose. And is it going to work crying every day because I don't like what I do? Mm -hmm. Or is it doing what I love? Yeah. And this is what I, I love. So we love it, it was too. a leap of faith. Yeah. Um, my husband had to be on board. Yeah. Um, I'm not going to say that he was totally on board even after I left. Yeah. Because uh, that's had a good his, check. I had his back. <laughs> right, right. Hard. But it was still scary because it's a lot of sacrifices mm -hmm. involved. So you have to be willing to um, eat those uh, yeah. uh, oatmeal and that, those, what you call it, ramen noodles. Ramen. You know what they call. Y'all know what ramen noodles are. Don't, don't, we're not making that I today. I haven't had it in a while because <laughs> I just kind of nibble off of yeah. what I, you know, what I already cooked. So, um, but I think God just blessed our sacrifice. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, I think that. Whatever he has for you, he'll make provisions for Absolutely. it to pass. So you just have to trust and you have to have faith that he's already got it worked out. He does. That's what that. I did. Anointing over these these red velvet waffles. Yes. And when you make your first million, you have to break it down. <laughs> Unless you're sipping champagne with Oprah and Tyler Perry, but still, don't don't forget break a darn tea. Okay. Thank you, Chef Dee Dee, Thank the queen you. of the red velvet waffles, Thank and just so a queen much. in general. Thank you so much. Thank you. For oh, let's eat some of these waffles. Oh yeah, definitely try those. Oh yes, love them. Yeah, I'll I'll the four. Oh, we just pick it up. We not being fancy. Oh, okay. Huh. <laughs> mm. Oh my and this gosh. Is it right here. And do you know? You I have was, to tell me how you like those banana nuts. Mm. I need to slap somebody. Yeah. I need to slap you. I need to slap myself. You know what it's going to be worth it. I'm oh going God. to the gym tomorrow. Oh, God. Girl, I know. Mm. Right? This is so good. I love chocolate, 
And the red velvet and the chocolate just complement like it's really good. You don't even need to serve, y'all. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. Chef cheers. Okay. There you go. <laughs> Add a few nuts on here. Mm -hmm. There you go. Okay. Mm -hmm.